Buffett explains the three differences between achievers and daydreamers. On this video, we cover Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, the most successful investor, philosophy and thought processing. Warren Buffett has told us which are the three things in life that separate the doers from the daydreamers. The first thing that Buffett says is that we need to love the work that we do. If we do love our jobs, we will never have to work one day in our lives. That is so true. Even making lots of money but being completely miserable in a job is so sad. To make a video like this, it takes me about 8 to 10 hours and it is lots of work. It requires research, writing a script, shooting, editing and yada yada yada. But this is also what I do on my free time and my fun time. I really and truly enjoy studying finance, methods of making money and researching successful people. If you have interest on Buffett or finance, please drop a like and if you are new here also, subscribe, hit the bell and share this video with a friend. That is a great way to become a overachiever, get the next video and help the channel grow. And the second thing separating achievers from daydreamers is procrastination. We all are guilty of this, even Buffett, at some level or another. Oftentimes we need to take action on things immediately, but we end up leaving it for later. And the third thing is don't judge your own self by other people's standards. This could be going on the way up or going on the way down. Buffett's style is to always grow and be better but comparing to our own selves. If we were to compare ourselves to Buffett or somebody in that category financially, we might all be failures. And just a few days ago, something completely crazy happened to me where I fell into this argument. And they were telling me, just do it, because most people do it that way, or at least 90% of people do it that way. And that was when I asked that individual if I should lower my bar and achieve less because that's how most people live lives on autopilot and I should do the same thing. And thankfully at that point we fall into common ground and that individual tells me, hey, if everybody is jumping from a bridge, don't do the same and yes, try to be better every day. Leave your thoughts, comments and ideas in the comments section down below as I go deeper into each of these subjects. I found these on inc.com, Warren Buffett, three things in life separate the doers and achievers from the daydreamers. Now at 90 years of age, the Oracle of Omaha shares some of his most important life lessons. Warren Buffett is arguably the best investor who ever lived. The Oracle of Omaha, as he is known, started investing in 1942 with just $114.75 and is now among the top 10 richest persons globally. While Buffett is occasionally wrong about economics, his Biggest mistake being the $358 million investment in US Airways, he is spot on about his most famous life lessons, like the three examples below. Number one, love the work that you do. Plain and simple, when you do what you love, success will follow. Buffett has lived by this rule stating that when you're passionate about your work, you'll never work a day in your life. He concludes, there comes a time when you ought to start doing what you want. Take a job that you love. You will jump out of bed in the morning. So what is that you really want to do? Number two, stop your thumb sucking. Ever sat on a decision too long and did nothing when you should act on it? That, according to Buffett, is thumb sucking. It's stalling, procrastinating, and avoiding something that may have been your best bet to begin with to reach your goals. We're all guilty of it, and Warren Buffett is no exception. In his 1989 letter to Berkshire Hathaway shareholders, Buffett said, I have passed on a couple of really big purchases that were served up to me on a platter and that I was fully capable of understanding. For Berkshire shareholders, myself included, the cost of this thumb sucking has been huge. The lesson, as with most important decisions in life, including investing, do your research thoroughly. <clears throat> get all the information and then act swiftly on your decision and if the answer is no, act with the same clarity of mind and walk away, knowing you made the right choice. 
And thirdly, don't judge yourself by other people's standards. When setting the bar for your own goals, don't fall for the trap of measuring it by other people's measure of success. Instead of trying to keep up with the Jonases, measure yourself by one of Buffett's most famous rules, your inner scorecard, which defines your own standards and not what the world imposes on you. The inner scorecard, a principle he learned from his father, comes from deep within and speaks to truth. It gives meaning to who you are and how you naturally behave and see the world on the basis of your values and beliefs, not someone else's. In short, it's taking the higher road to achieve success because it comes from the heart. And finally, to recap, number one is to love the job that we do. And we need to work to make money. So sometimes there is not much options. but. We can plan for the future and one day maybe do a job that we don't make as much money but we are less miserable and maybe more happy. Number two is to stop procrastinating and taking action today before it passes us by. And thirdly, don't compare our own selves to other people's standards. That could be a setup for disappointment or to underachieve. Instead, we can compare ourselves to our own selves and every day getting better. I hope you enjoyed some of Buffett's thought processing. Leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. On this video, we cover the most successful investor. On this, on this video, we cover. On this video, we cover Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, the most successful investor. Philosophy and thought processing. On this video, we cover the... <clears throat>